Spanish culture and heritage will be on full display in Iberia Parish this weekend as the New Iberia Spanish Festival returns. The celebration gets underway today in downtown New Iberia. That's where we find News 10's Gerald Gornig, who has a breakdown of the fun. Gerald, good morning. Hey, Sylvia, Danielle, what's happening? Look, I know uh, the forecast not ideal this morning, but it's going to be a beautiful weekend in downtown New Iberia. Things kicking off the Spanish Festival in New Iberia tonight at 5 p.m. And I know we got tons to talk about when it comes to paella and jambalaya. So before we dig into it, we got a new guest joining us. We're going to start with the ladies first. Good morning. How are we doing? Why don't you introduce yourself? I'm doing good on the Miss Spanish Festival Queen 7, Sydney LeBlanc. Sydney, looking forward to the weekend? Yes, I am. It's going to be a fun family field event. For people that haven't been out to the Spanish Festival before, any words of encouragement to get them to downtown New Iberia this weekend? And I'm not just talking about New Iberia. I'm talking across Acadiana. It's a free festival, which is nice because you can get the whole family involved. we got rides and games and stuff for everybody to enjoy. Let's get it, baby. And Spanish culture on display. There's a cook-off that's been happening for the last nine years. Yes, sir. And uh, look, right before we went on, I'm like, man, I, I got them rolling. Go, baby, go. Let's talk about the paella and jambalaya cook-off. When is it happening first, and why do y'all do it? Uh, we do it because it's part of the Spanish culture. And paella was brought down when the Spanish came down, and uh, the French took it over and made it jambalaya. That's what it is. So what paella is, is yellow rice, shrimp, chicken, and pork all mixed in a big pot and all cooked together. And how they actually cook it in Spain is they put it over an open fire on a pan. That's paella. Sounds similar to jambalaya, man. It is. <laughs> so tell me about the cook-off itself. When does it happen? Are y'all still accepting teams? Uh, it, can you in, Does jambalaya compete against paella? How does it work, and when is it all happening? Jambalaya competes against jambalaya and the paella against the paella. And we got 10 teams this year. We're looking for more. If you want to come out and get into this, come on down. Starts at 5 o'clock Saturday morning. And we go all the way till 3 o'clock that afternoon when we give out the awards. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, uh, this event itself, I know we heard earlier about the history that's involved with Spanish culture here in New Iberia, here in Acadiana. For those that haven't been out before, um, what, what, I mean, y'all are making sure it's going to be a first-class weekend. Yes, sir, we sure are. Uh, I'm one of the... Uh ancestors of the one of the founding families on one of the Miguezes and that's what that's what it is it's uh, the seven families that came down <clears throat> and uh, settled New Iberia the Spanish opened this up that's why we're here today they brought sugar down and we <laughs> wide open baby I love it I love it I love it appreciate y'all and Katie Anna well much more coming up throughout the course of the morning here on Paz Bad 2 the Spanish festival in New Iberia kicks off tonight at 5 p.m.